Hey guys, Frank here, your virtual general aviation aviator. And today I am in the Cirrus SR22 with the G1000 uh, cockpit. Now this one is by uh, Hold My Beer. Uh, and believe it or not, this is freeware. Um, the author would like f the authors, the three guys, uh, a team of three guys who put this bird together and they do request that you make a donation if you uh, if you see fit to um, to fly this aircraft anyway um so let's get in the cockpit i've already started the aircraft and have put in a flight plan uh the flight today is going to be from krdu raleigh international raleigh durham international to norfolk international up in virginia uh, so it's, uh, it's a relatively short flight. Uh, let's see, maybe I can pull it up on my iPad. Um, so yeah, there we go. And, and we are going to fly um, a flight plan. And I think we're gonna fly this one IFR. Um, I do see traffic uh, on the iPad. Uh, on the fourth flight iPad. This this is four flight incidentally. Um, so yeah, uh, I think the traffic that we are seeing may be generated by Traffic Global. All right. So and Traffic Global uh, get a lot of their traffic from live traffic from from real world traffic. Anyway, um, so I do have on the labels, and you can see that the labels are actually showing the park aircraft also. Um, and red is airline, red labels are airline traffic, and blue labels are general aviation traffic. Um, so I am going to turn off the park labels, the parked aircraft labels. And for right now, I'm just going to um, show the airborne um, labels. All right. So let's, uh, let's move this guy out the way. And uh, like I said, we've got our flight plan already loaded. And I don't think I need the tablet there, but I don't think it's really hiding anything. So let's just leave it there for the time being. All right. So let's see let's turn our nav lights uh well actually we don't need our nav lights on uh don't need pedo heat right now um we do need to determine what our altitude's gonna be and for this flight uh let's see that's um that's four let's see that's 144 nautical miles to Norfolk um, via this this flight plan. So let's um, let's choose an altitude. We're going east. East is odd, and since we're IFR, let's choose an altitude of um, uh, let's just do ten thousand. Okay. All right. Uh, east is odd, so we'll make it eleven. All right, and that'll get us uh, up high enough. Uh, actually, we don't need 11, um, but we'll go ahead and, and fly 11. All right, so let's uh, let's get this autopilot here. I think that's down here, and get the altitude select and dial this guy up to 11. Uh, let's see. So I go up to eleven thousand. Um, you know, invariably, when we leave um, our flight plan, our ATC would tell us to fly something and uh, give us vectors to join this uh, departure or something. Um, so for the yeah we're just gonna go straight to 11 all right um, so so yeah all right so let's get 11 dialed in here 
and um, we want to clam at um, 1100 so I guess 11 is our, our magic number today all right so let's uh, let's dial in to uh, vertical speed a vertical let me go. see let's hit the vertical speed button then that goes up to 11 all right and let's uh, go back to altitude and adjust that to where it should be okay all right so we got that done and let's go ahead and get our ADOS uh, 120 let's see ADOS is gonna be one um, 123.8 all right so we'll put ADOS on COM2 and get 123 dialed in and then um, then we get 8 dialed in. Should have went down. I would have got there quicker. 7, 8, flip that in. And and aid us for Norfolk. Might as well go ahead and put that in. It's 127, 12715. All right. So, so 127 and one uh, 15 and. All right, 127.15. All right, and and we're looking good. Okay, tower for RDU. Uh, we're ground. Let's do ground first. Uh, we we as usual are uh, going to ignore clearance delivery. So clearance de uh, hmm. clearance delivery has given us a squat code uh, of three four two one all right and so we've got that dialed in and we also need to dial in our frequencies so that's what we have started doing uh, ground is 121.7 um, for this side of the air field on this side of the tower and 127.45 is the tower frequency for this side of the aircraft I mean the side of the airport okay for 127.45 all right so we are ready to rock and roll. Our tail number is 267 Hotel Hotel, uh, which is shown on the outside, on this outside livery here, 267 Hotel Hotel, uh, which is why we chose that tail number, even though in here on the inside, it shows uh, something completely different. All right. Um, let's see, are we ready? Okay, so um, ice protection, backup pump. Okay, yeah, we got our caps um, removed, and let's remove this guy here. I uh, thought I'd remove him. Glad I checked. Okay, yeah, I had removed him, but then I clicked back there. <laughs> okay and put them back all right wasn't sure what that was when i clicked it okay again this is this air this series is by hold my beer and it's completely free so there's no reason why you guys can't download and fly this this aircraft all right let's check our fuel um now i've got um i've been sitting here on the on the um, apron for a while 
and I've drained out a lot of my right tank so I'm going to switch to my left tank um, I can have the aircraft switch automatically for me but uh, but in real life the series doesn't do that so I'm gonna uh, try to remember to switch these guys myself all right so so uh, let's go ahead and call ground all right so I'm so used to finding my comms over here or somewhere flanking the 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 um, the PDF or the MDF Raleigh Durham INTL information echo echo 1700 Zulu weather wind calm visibility more than 10 sky conditions 10,000 view temperature 20 2.9 altimeter 3014 arriving runway 32 departing runway 32 advise on initial contact you have echo okay so we got echo and turn that calm off and we're already on ground so um, so we're ready to get our taxi instructions uh, let's see let's uh, let's go ahead and and let's pull up our iPad. Do better with that, I believe. Uh, let's see, we at Norfolk. Let's go back to our DU. All right. So three two is going to be our prevailing uh, runway. So it looks like we're going to taxi. Um, Taxiway Charlie and back taxi to Elko. I mean, <laughs> Taxiway Charlie and then back taxi to runway 32. All right, and then our attempter was 3014. Let's not, let's not forget that. All right, 3014. So I'm showing this in H in HPA and I don't know if I can read the HPA, so I think I might be able to fix that. Um, uh, shucks, I think I would have had to do that on the ground. Well, with the engines off. Um, okay, so we know that our airport is at. Um, let's see. Let's see is at uh, 420 here I believe so let's just set this guy to 420 actually it's about right there um, and I do that every time leave that iPad up alright so we got this this guy set to to that I wish there was some way I could change that without having to go into you know anyway um, so we're ready to taxi all right so Raleigh ground Sarah's 267 Hotel Hotel is at Landmark, ready to taxi with Elko. Taxi to runway 32 via Charlie down um, um, and back taxi runway 32, 267 Hotel Hotel. Okay, so I've got nose wheel steering turned off, so I'm 
I'm taxing strictly via the the differential braking system. And I'm so accustomed to pushing the rudders, I'm still trying to push on the rudders to turn. Okay, now to get to Charlie, I am going to have to get off on Juliet 1 and take Juliet to Charlie. Um, I guess Tower knew that I'm a uh, regular at this particular. I guess they recognize my voice and say, oh yeah, he know how to get there. Get there, uh, Charlie. Alright, so this is Juliet. Uh, not, yeah, now I'm on the Alpha. Yeah, I said Juliet 1 to Juliet, but Juliet to Alpha and then Alpha to Charlie. Alright, so this is Charlie. They want to push in on those rudders to, to turn. Okay, they didn't tell me to hold short or to cross runway 23, so I'm a, I am going to hold short. I did see um, something take off on 23. And. Power four percent. Let's dial that back up to about ten. All right. So let's clear, clear right, and clear left. Raleigh Tower, Sarah's two six seven Hotel Hotel is holding short runway. Five right. Giving way to the United Two Six Seven Hotel Hotel. I hope he don't go for three two. If he do, I'm gonna go for five left. Yep, he's gonna go for three two. And what happens with the AI traffic for 3-2 oftentimes traffic global doesn't quite know how to deal with 3-2 it's not really a a runway suitable for for heavy traffic um, I think the 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 runway for 3-2 is relatively short um, let's see I I want to say it's 3,200 feet, and yeah, so let's just see what he does. Okay, he actually took off on 1-4. <laughs> All right, well, winds are come, so I guess it doesn't really make much difference, but he did take off, so I am going to go ahead and... Uh, and go to three two, um, since that's what, two, since that's what they gave me. And I'm crossing three, runway eight, five eight. left. Five, I'm five right. If I can get this differential breaking down packed. to the next to the next uh, since I'm back taxiing look at the um, wind sock here yeah so 3-2 is definitely what I want mm -hmm. 
yeah okay so nothing is landing on one four oh, I'm sorry on three two Um, these brakes and steering takes some getting used to. Okay, let's change our frequency. Raleigh Tower, Cirrus 267 Hotel, Hotel is holding short runway 32, ready to back taxi for takeoff. Back taxi to runway three two, and it with uh, with the undelay with with back taxi to runway three two take off no delay two six seven hotel hotel. All right. Approaching runway one four. Enter runway one four. So back taxi and and not play around over there. Once I get to my to the uh, to the point I still want to keep push I still want to keep pushing in these uh, rudder pedals and when I don't push them in I can steer a little better than I can when I push them in Track that center line as best I can. Get down where I can just see over my column. And I think this is the 1,000 foot mark. So, pull that power out. Come down here and make a U turn. Try to use as much of this. Uh, 22% power to, to get this guy started here. 15. And try not to do a runway incursion. All right. No delay, so get the flaps in. And flaps are set for inverified. Power to 100%. Air speed's alive. And we're going to rotate at 70. Rotate. Wheels up. And this is fixed gear. All right. So we are 500 feet above. Flaps up. Across this uh, runway and make our turn. Um, let's see. All right, so let's get a trimmed for 1100. All right. Let me 
bit more trim than I need. So let's come down a little bit. And let's turn our uh, flight director on, on uh, our autopilot on. And let's turn our nav on. And let's look at our flight plan and make sure we're capturing. Alright, so we are on our way to Steamy at 25. I should have looked at the, uh, the chart. So, let's bring this altitude select way down to 25. I like the way he got the altitude select model. Like I can just hold the button. All right, and let's click out. I think it's gonna capture out select. Yeah, it should capture. This is coming down. Okay, GPS air dumper. Uh, yaw yaw dumper out select. And wow, something's beating up my frames. So let me get out a little bit so I can pick up my frames. Yeah, this guy is really frame intensive. So. I am now looking out of the window and I'm on my way to steamy at or above at or above 25 so it's not at below so I can go go ahead up um, so yeah let's do it let's do that uh, so first we'll, we'll go ahead on and dial in that 11,000 again it's really not a problem with this aircraft and then we'll go ahead and tell it to climb at at uh, 1100 okay And that's going to bleed out some of that speed. All right. So we did not manage our lights. So let's. I do have strobes on. I didn't turn on my landing lights when I took off. Uh, fortunately, it was daytime. So. But. Um, but I think one of the regulations say that we should turn on the the landing lights all lights whenever you enter the runway of course most people don't turn on their nails in the daytime so something <laughs> looked like uh, Something in my scenery was misbehaving, but moving stuff seemed to have resolved that. All right, so 99%, so we got cl climb power in, and let's uh, go here to system, and actually, I don't think it's system. Uh, view. Uh, actually, let's go back here. Turn off. Turn off the 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 um, flight plan window. Okay, and get traffic on. Um, 
electronic electronic view system I guess uh, uh, it's pretty it's kind of cool uh, look like they got a camera out there um, so the, 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 the traffic um, actually what I want to do is go back I can't really read this but uh, that's, I guess that said checklist. Yeah, see this. Okay, declutter. Um, ah, vertical VSD, vertical situation display. I don't, I don't know what VSD stand for. Uh, but my top of the scent should be hairy. Um, and I am climbing. Okay. Uh, but what I want to do is is work on my EGT. So that's what I'm looking for. Uh, if okay, yeah, this is the screen that I'm looking for. All right. So my cylinder head temps at six. Yeah, definitely need to um, to get those. EGT temperatures up. In the minute they start to fall, so I want the so I got them trim. I I got them at, uh, I got them right here, and I'm at uh, about fifteen, about sixteen. Um, gallons per hour. Uh, there it is, 16.8 gallons per hour. And it's moving up 17. So I'm hoping I'm getting the best performance. Check my outside air temperature. 43 degrees Fahrenheit, 66 degrees Celsius. I like that 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 I'm seeing both and and I got real well real world weather turned down I'm actually downloading the real world weather from FS global okay so I'm getting a message saying my p2 heat is off which I knew uh, but I guess it wants it's suggesting that I should turn it on um and I am going to set weather from a different system in so I may get a violent shake if it's if something is vastly different and the clouds may change a little bit. Looks like I'm averaging about 20 frames a second. So this aircraft is really frame heavy. Um, okay. So I'm getting close to my top of climb. 1,000 to go. And I'm being advised that I should I should turn on oxygen. So let's do that. This 
aircraft does have a sealed cabin. Quite frankly, I'm willing to fly Cessna 172 at 10 to 11,000 without ox oxygen. Ooh, excuse me. But it's a slog getting up to that altitude in that aircraft. Okay. So we're entering cruise. And let's retrim. All right, fear flow went back up to 35, and let's pull it down. And I'm watching my cylinder head, my EGT temperatures, and they look happiest about right here. I think I should be to pull it down a little bit more though. Yeah, I'm going to do a, a more of a lean um, and let me pull my RPMs down and I want about 70% on, on power. All right. And manifold, manifold pressure is at about 28. Uh, so that's about right. It's about 28, I think 26.9 is optimal manifold pressure for the series. So I can turn the power setting down just a touch. But I think I'll leave it where it's set. All right. So, we're in route, real weather, and with this, um, the, um, the connection, the, um, the weather transfer didn't quite, it's not quite connecting to the sim so let me restart that application I know you guys can't see what I'm doing but trust me I am doing a little something in the background let's just hope it didn't crash the sim what I'm doing is loading up FS global weather which talks to SkyMax and it tells SkyMax what clouds to render. So I'm downloading real weather data. FS Global Weather runs outside of of explain Whereas most plugins, um, you can get a plugin interface. Okay, so my weather is downloaded. So let me try to transfer it back to the, the data back to the sim and see if it'll connect and accept that data. I think it is. And may not actually get a crash. Let's see if I can show you guys a little what I'm talking about. So, so FS Global Weather is currently setting initial weather in your flight center, flight simulator. This may take a few moments. Okay. So anyway, it's done. My altimeter is three zero zero six. Um, so 
I do need to go ahead and change my altimeter. Um, I said three zero zero six, which is one oh eight, one oh one eight. Okay. So barometer. And that sets us up nicely. We got um, some traffic dead ahead. Let's jump into our map. And Uh, we okay, we are altitude, so we can actually turn this guy off. Let's see. Um, well, we'll do that in a minute. Well, we'll do that now. Okay. And then this is us, and then this is the traffic that we're probably seeing. Um, Zoom in some and with that range button. Uh, all right, so we're turning. And where is that range button? T -t 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 range, there it is. All right. So we just turned at Fable. And we are on our way to CVI, which is, uh, gee whiz, what was CVI? Uh, Coalfield. And Coalfield is actually in Virginia. And once we get the cold fill, we'll start our descent into Norfolk. Now, here you can tell that I'm that I'm using default scenery. Cause see how this is repeating. Um, I think my towel ends here and you can see where the towel stops and the default starts. Um, so I should add some more towels to my simulator. Some more ortho towels. The, um, the thing that I'm wondering is I do intend to run the next gen X-Plane I don't, they haven't decided whether they're going to call it Next Gen or X-Plane 12. Uh, I'm hoping they call it X-Plane 12 because that would make sense since, you know, we are so used to X-Plane being numbered, you know, from X-Plane 9, 10, 11, and logically the next, um, the next version would, would be 12. All right. So I think Hold My Beer did an excellent job for, for this aircraft. Um, be honest with you, I think I would call it definitely payware quality, uh, and that is free. It's just incredible. Look at the size of that prop.
So I got 11 minutes to Coalfield and 25 minutes to Norfolk. We're getting there. Let's explore the, um, the tablet. Now these guys across the top uh, weight and balance energy and settings uh, have to be on the ground to actually use those. Um, you guys remember Pong um, that uh, I, well, I'm old enough to remember it. Um, it was one of the computer games that, uh, that we used to be able to play on a television screen. Um, I forgot what what device we hooked up to it, to the television, but yeah, we could play it Pong on, on the television. Uh, quick comms on nearby stations, um, ATC, 122-800 was tuned, okay. And that's going to be useful if it uh, will actually tune um, to, the, to the correct stations once I get close enough. Um, but I probably would tune them manually. Um, hold my beer health. Okay, so that this um, is, <laughs> yeah, this is how, let's see, 32 degrees Fahrenheit. 97% ox blood oxygen content. I guess I'm doing okay. Um, uh, does that mean it's really cold in here? Let's turn the heat up and see what see if that changes. Uh, felt temperature 32 degrees. So I just turn the turn the thermostat up. I don't know if that's going to change anything. I guess we'll turn this up a little bit too and move it over towards the heat see if it uh, see what happens all right bird watch shouldn't hopefully I don't have any birds in the vicinity no birds reported good core flight uh, I'm not sure what this is Yeah, looks like this might be, uh, I'm not sure what, what it really is, uh, but I don't want to, um, to mess with it. Press clear to ignore, uh, it where's clear, that's, that's, um, Clear, 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 right here. Okay, and banking, we had already looked at. FBO, at the destination, I don't see the destination. Uh, and I don't recognize any of these destinations. So I'm not sure what that is or how it can help. Discord. Uh, we all know about Discord. Weather maps. Um, see if that, see if that sensitive to range. Nope. And range 500 so I'm not sure if that's really modeled or doing anything ASXP whatever that is headset okay let's leave those on flashlight on me that interior email um, yep so they sent me an email saying that that um, that they have some repaints available. 
and did I skip anything? Maintenance, yep, that's. Uh, and of course, Avitab, which is the regular Avitab that we know and love so much. And I do have a Navigrail subscription now, even though I rarely fly IFR. Okay, so just a little bit of playing around. Destination ATIS is 127.15. INTL information box draw. 1800 Zulu weather. Wind 020 at 12. Visibility more than 10. Sky conditions 5000 view. 32000 view. Temperature 24. 2.11. Altimeter 3007. Arriving runway 32. Departing runway 32. Advised on initial contact you have box draw. I have to listen to that again. Didn't quite catch everything. Norman INTL information box truck. Box truck. 1800 Zulu weather. Wind 020 at 12. Visibility more than 10. Sky conditions 5000 view. 32000 view. 
temperature 24, 2.11. Altimeter 3007. Arriving runway 32, departing runway 32. Advised on initial contact, you have box drive. All right. Turn off COM2. COM2 is here. And 1169 is the frequency that I want. Uh, there is no 1169, that's the vortex, my bad. Um, control tower is 120.8. And I need to start that descent. Uh, let's uh, let's see. Go down that in one twenty point eight. Let's get our descent going. Now let's look at our flight plan. And don't have any uh, descents in here, so uh, let's. Uh, back up here and make this 4,000 even though we're only five nautical miles away from it all right and enter all right then vertical Then down. down. Can't seem to get this to do what I want to do. Okay. VS and then down and she's not grabbing, not responding. Uh, I'll select vertical path. time to bottom of descent. <laughs> Alright, 32 miles from... Alright, so let's start a kamikaze dive, guys. Um, we're going to do this manually. So, so it's my aircraft. And pull that power way out. Five hundred feet per minute. Let's go 
back the outer outer pallet is still on. Uh, is it? Um, no, I don't think it is. There we go. Auto pallet's back on. And vertical. Down. Ah, what is it doing? Something's not quite working the way it should. Vertical down. All right, there we go. And that's minus 300 at this point. Want more than 300. Um, let's try. Alpha button is not working. Down. Up. Down, down. Okay, there we go. Just, just didn't have the right click spot. All right, minus 2,500. That's the max. That's the max. Whoa. Don't. So we are in a kamikaze dive. And autopilot, not autopilot, but uh, flight plan procedure. Clear procedure approach. Enter. And I'm going to do an I out. I see. Winds were. Zero two zero, so we're gonna do an ILS for zero five. Uh, we have a tower for that, and they they give it to us. All right, so so let's enter that factors, and don't know the minimums for that. Um, Actually, what we want is a visual, to be honest with you. All right, so we can peel off some of this drop. Um, we want it level out at 2,500. Let's make that 3,000. I guess 2,500 would be okay. the visual for 05. Alright, so where are we? Where's my airport? So, uh, 
get out of here. Let's see. Back. And get rid of this declutter here. Uh, detail map. Uh, next red belt. Let's see. Top row. So this is 05 here. Now uh, that's 2, that's 3, 2. But 05 is going to put us pretty much in a straight end. We're flying a 05 2. So yeah, we uh, ought to be pre pretty much lining up with uh, our airport. Alright. So we 13 nautical miles out. North of Tower. Sarah's 267 Hotel Hotel is 10 nautical miles. Uh, inbound from the southwest four stop make straight make straight in runway zero five Cirrus two six seven hotel hotel all right so let's do glumps gas gas on our fullest tank that's going to be on our right tank. And fuel boost needs to go on. Lights. Let's do landing lights. And undercarriage mixture and props. All right. See if we can't get lined up for 05. All right, so I think this is 05 here. And autopilot can come mm. off. And we need to drop about 2,500 feet. Um, pattern should be about a thousand feet, so we need to drop a thousand feet, I mean fifteen hundred feet. And we'll follow the United in. That's on approach. Look out, make sure that that, uh, that we're clear. Trim some of this bad pressure off my yoke. Five hundred to pattern attitude altitude. down. I'll probably be on final, short final before they clear me to land.
line it has vacated the runway to the land runway 05 267 hotel hotel all right so we got a landing clearance We're on a visual. See if we can't find our pappas. Looks like it's saying that we may be a tad low. I can't tell what, okay. Yeah, we're picking up our glass loop now. We got one white. All right, we're on the glide slope. I know you guys can't really see the two whites, but I can see them. Okay. A little bit high. So let's drop the notch of flaps in the in the arc. Back on the slope. Seventy five is what we're looking for. Just a touch of flare. down Watch where we're going. Trying to see where my general aviation is at. And it's going to be on my right. And this differential braking. So we're going to go up here. We're not going to make this left turn, but we're going to make this right turn here at. Um, 
we want to make it before runway 32, which ought to be Alpha, where it says Gulf. But we're going to turn off on Gulf. And I got behind the aircraft by not looking at where I want to go before I land it. And ha. Huh, it's just what I didn't want to do, turn right off on the runway. Uh, so, so let me stop here, get my bearings. Uh, shoot. Okay, let's see. I landed on five and I'm on three two. I will have to go to the end of three two to pick up. Well, uh, come on, guy. Do me right. Yep, go to the end of three two and get off. And three two, according to Adels, was active. So I'm not going to waste any time getting down here to to general aviation. Don't want to go so fast that I take off though. All right. And and this is one of vertical sims airports. And I think he did a great job on it. Um, and I didn't do a good job um, planning my planning my um, how I was going to get to the runway. But let me get stopped here and get cleaned up. Okay, F L T T which is flaps, lights, strokes come off, taxi go on, landing come off. So that's FL, flaps and lights, TT, trim and transponder. Uh, transponder can go to, to um, standby and trim. Can go to takeoff. Yep. That's okay, so I got it trimmed for the next flight. And lean it a little bit for ground. I don't know if this one has to be lean for ground like like I would in the Piper to be honest with you. Alright. And this is general aviation. So let's go up here and park. And we will park beside this piper up here. And All right, hope I'm part straight. May not be. Okay, so let's shut down. And first thing we want to do is apply our brakes. And of course, we got to find them. Where are you, brakes? Where are you? Let's see. Uh, I'm so dark down here that um, crap here. There we go. All right, brakes are set. And switches. Okay, so, so the lights can come, the landing light can go off. And strobe light is off. Let's go ahead and uh, turn our avionics off. And then lean it. And the battery. 
alt with alternators and then battery two uh, battery one battery two all right and I guess we could um, set our chocks and covers right and tie downs and I'm gonna leave the shield off I actually don't really like the shield okay but the next time I I um, pop in the shield will be there I got an imbalance on my fuel tank you can see it pretty clearly on the on the pad there all right but overall guys hold my beer series um, the 22 um, the the SR 22 yep so so yeah I really enjoyed it I hope you guys did and until we do the next flight Saranara Ciao. Bella. Don't come back now, dear.